Those of you who know me know I love creating reports using views from SQL Server. And someone recently asked me how can they create a view that accesses two databases at the same time. You could do it with the new Power Query feature that is included with Excel, uh, the Professional Plus version of Excel. 2016 is actually called Get and Transform. But in SQL Server, you can do it. It's a little bit more tricky. So let's go through and do this now. So what I'm going to do, under my two database, I'm going to come in and just right mouse click on views and create a new view. And this is the traditional Belinda method of creating a view. I could access a view or do a lot of different things, but what I'm going to do is select just two general ledger files. So I'm going to create, get the general ledger description, account description file here and the full general ledger account number from this one. So we'll link those together. So let's start with the uh, full account number and then we'll come over here and we'll say description and I'll put in an alias here account number and account description. Go ahead and refresh that and you can see we have our data. So I'm also going to come in and give those names so that they'll be a little bit consistent. We'll call this one as uh, let's see, that one is the account description, so we'll call that as AD, and we'll call the other one as account number, and we'll go ahead and refresh that again, so it's referencing AD and AN instead of the proper uh, technical name there, or the physical name of that particular table. Great. So let's also come in and put down the name of the database. So this is coming from, and I'm putting it in a single quote there, the database called two, and we'll call this company. And I'll refresh again, and now you can see it shows the database name. To get another database attached to this, I'm going to come in and type in the name of the database .dbo in front of both of those tables. Two dot dbo for database owner. I'm going to copy all of that type the word union and paste and now here I'm gonna come in and change that to another database name so now I'm calling my sassy database but still those particular files and at this point I want to come in and change that from two to sassy here as well so when I refresh now I'm going to get that I won't be able to see this graphical representation because it's going to be pulling from two different databases but that's okay notice it just dims it out but it did pull it in so you could see here I pulled a reference from my other database as well so this is something you can do it's a little bit tedious but so is creating any view for that matter that is how you do it and I hope this helps